Hi, so welcome to what I take on my mobile massage visits. Uh, this is the basics of what I take if I'm doing the full take on all the sheets and such like. So all you need is a small travel case like this. You can see sort of the width of it. This is 30, um, 30 inches wide. So you can see sort of the width of that case. This is a general cabin bag you can get from Matalan anywhere else, about 30 pounds, not very expensive. Okay, so what I tend to take when I go um, to clients is when I take all the sheets and all the, uh, the fleeces and everything when they're not supplying their own towels, is all on this, this this table. This is the basics that I take. So first of all, um, I take two full size single sheets. I find that the easiest. And you'll see it all fits into this bag really easily. I always take two hand towels, one to put on my oils when I'm in people's houses because I don't like the fact of, of um, maybe marking their own furniture and one for their head and uh, supporting um, their arms during the massage. I always take uh, bin bags for when I tidy up afterwards. Antiseptic wipes, um, antibacterial wipes, sorry, um, which I use to clean off all my oils holders and the various headrests and things like that I need to clean off at the end of every single massage. My couch does not have a face hole, so I have a face cradle and I carry a new washed cradle, hold cradle, face cradle thingy. And essentially, because I also, at this time of year, carry an electric blanket. It's a fully washable, silent night electric blanket, just for a single bed, which you can wash every single time by taking the electric off. And um, it's only about £15, not very expensive. And it, clients absolutely love it. Absolutely love that. So I also carry, all the time in my case, I carry these little mop caps. You can get them off eBay or Amazon. They're really, really handy. They're disposable mop caps put on people's heads, which means that um, quite a few people I see during the day and they don't want to have their hair you know, getting oily. So it's really good for that. And they can keep it or throw it away, whatever they want to do. So I always carry some of those. And just in case I forget to put a face cradle holder or I have an accident with my oils and it leaks on my face cradle cover, sorry. I always carry um, a couple of disposable ones. Again, you can get those off eBay or Amazon really easily. I always carry those. Uh, I carry my fleece, nice big huge fleece, which I got from the range. Um, full size one to put over them. And most importantly is my oils. Now a lot of people when they're doing mobile don't know how to carry their oils. Now for people's houses, so I'm not putting oils on to people's surfaces. I don't like the idea of having a carrier on my on my hip. I find that a bit restrictive. Also I use a, a blend of oils often and uh, mix and match sort of styles and things. So I got this little from a hardware shop, little tray, plastic tray, and a little bit of non-stick sort of um, draw liner i suppose that's what it is a little non-sticky thing so the oils don't slide around on it and there's a nice little poundland makeup case which i have a section of oils for the day really so this will last me the day maybe a couple of days i use uh neil's yard um salves as a warming salve and i also use an arnica salve so if i go in quite deeply with people i just put an arnica on to help clear thing but various sort of selection of smells and things so i've got different types i know which which color the lids me, mean so that's a smelly one from neil's yard again and i use a basic skin truth one which is a non-smelling one um from sally salon services so if they don't want any smell they've got none smell or i can mix and match the neil's yard one's very very strong so i tend to cut it into to that one so and for applying the cells i carry some of these the wax sticks like that so that's how i generally do my my oils when I'm going. So when I'm walking around the room, I, I walk around carrying that bit, putting it onto the tan towel that I've had. If, I'm, if there are any other surfaces I don't want to mark, just in case there's somewhere else you see oil seems to get everywhere, is it is anywhere. So I have those, and that works really well. So got those back. I tend to like to have carry enough for the day because um, I don't want to be constantly through the day refilling my oils. That all fits in this bag nicely. And again, that fits in there quite nicely too. It's got it all down. Great thing about this case, which is what I've learned the hard way, you get one with a nice soft cover, don't get a hard case. 
because when you want to get all your stuff in, it moulds nicely around it and it doesn't restrict what you're taking. So it is, that's it, and that's very, very light. It's got four wheels on, got a nice handle, so I can take it anywhere I want to take it. So that's the basics that I take. However, I also generally fit in a couple of other things as well. So I also have a couple of massage tools. They're very, very useful. I do also do a bit of air candling. It's a couple of air candles in case someone wants it. I also do dry needling, so I carry it in Sharps box, and I carry my selection of needles within this case here. I know which ones are which. The different sizes, hand sterilizer, stuff like. And I also carry some reflexology wax, which I do sometimes, but I'm not, not particularly a lot, but some people occasionally I get there, they go, I'm not feeling too great, so I actually have reflexology today, so I always have that on hand. And I also do kinesiology taping. And I managed to fit all of this in this bag. And what I tend to do is keep these bits at the bottom because they're not something I use all the time. So this is where the soft case cover comes in really handy because you'd be surprised what you can fit in when it's a soft case cover. Funny enough, it's like magic. It all works around there, like that, all fits in. So that's the most I take to people's houses. When I'm not taking the sheets and such like, it's all a lot easier. So I'll just pop those back out. I always keep in the basics, just in case, because quite often with mobile, you get people saying, oh, actually today I've got this, or I've got this problem, or that problem, or they strain something. So, it's always handy to keep it on hand. I don't want to be rushing out of the car. Oh, I've got some tape in the car. Oh, I've got my needles in the car. So those are the things I don't carry all the time. So that's generally what I carry most of the time. So I offer a £5 discount if people don't want me to bring the towel. So if they want to supply their own sheets and blankets, I offer them a £5 discount because it's quite a lot to save for me. My couch cover is carried in my couch case and um, I've got a bolster in there too which I can show you in a minute. Thank you for listening. Further on to what I carry in my case, which I didn't mention before, uh, is the forms. So of course we all have to carry our paperwork. I carry two sets of paperwork. I carry my medical consent forms that they have to fill in with any medical history and such like, and their consent for massage, which is on the back of the, back of the form. So carry that and I take out these completed forms at the end of the day and put them in my lock cabinet. Secondly, I also carry my sports massage uh, consent forms and the exact history of what I do in the sports massage. These are forms I've designed myself and I, I print off. If anyone needs any copies of these or wants to have my copies, they are welcome. You just contact me on email and I'll pop them over to you and uh, you're welcome to use them. So I do those and I take those out at the end of the day and put them in my lock cabinet as well. I also carry a kinesiology book. Now I did kinesiology with John Gibbons, the Body Master Method. And um, this book's really, really great because um, so often I just want to double check what I'm doing is correctly. I can vaguely remember or I remember it, but I want to make sure I do it correctly. But most importantly, it comes with a QR code down here, which you can then give to the client. They can click on that and they get, take them straight to John Gibbon's video telling them how to do it. So if they want to continue to reapply the taping themselves after you've left, um, they can. So, and John, John Gibbons recommended that when we did the course that we can give that to our clients for them to be able to follow the instructions as well. So that's what I carry. So, um, or fits very neatly you get a case with a front pocket or sometimes with a pocket inside as well as useful but for me it's great keeping it separate in the front pocket there and that works really well for me 